must get fit. It's the most important thing you can do because if you get yourself in shape, you're gonna be able to respect yourself more, which means people respect you more. You oftentimes treat people how to treat you. You manage people and how to treat you. If you start by gaining shape, you can naturally respect yourself more. People will naturally respect you more. They'll think you're smarter. They'll think you're more disciplined. And for that reason, they will respect you. You can start a business and be out of shape and quickly find out that you do not have the energy to sustain what it will take to make that business work. Energy is currency and having energy comes from being in shape. It comes from the food that you eat. It comes from the energy that you create through working out and having muscles and being out of breath and be able to be calm after that. It removes negative energy. It's very important to get in shape. It's the number one thing you can absolutely do to help yourself in your life and it is not something that you can put off until later. If you want to be better with girls, if you want to be respected by other men in the workspace, if you want to respect yourself, you will put your fitness first. Then you can move towards starting your business. This man is living on the road. He's like these guys that we talk about that aren't appreciated. This is a truck driver. This is a guy in the construction business. This is a guy out on the road trying to build build a, an empire for his family to have a legacy. Every man's got his own rodeo. Just chasing these jobs all over the country, man. And of course, it, it goes it goes into the other parts, you know, where she's like, I found somebody new and he's saying he sure ain't no rodeo man. And so right there, he has a decision. He can either argue and beg and all this other stuff, or he can leave that phone dangling off the hook, give it one last look and just walk away. That particular part is the part that I assume that you're talking about. And that, my friend, takes what we in the war room call an iron mind. At that point in the relationship, if that boundary is crossed, non-emotionally, say what you have to say and you say, listen, it's either going to be this way or it's not. A woman is either going to have to respect you or lose respect for you. And that respect is going to be held within whether you can hold your ground or not. I've done it and I've lived through the pain of it. And you just have to ask yourself, whose will is stronger, me or this hundred pound woman? Am I going to let her beat me at a, at a game of will and strength of the mind? Understand that if you start contacting her, or blowing her phone up or watching her stories or phoning her mom and doing all of these things that are emotional actions, she's naturally going to be less attracted to you. I do believe respect equals love and it's in any man that wants to garner respect for a woman, particularly in a breakup, needs to be able to leave the phone dangling off the hook. In a few years, when you win the rodeo, the phone's going to ring again. Then it's up to you what to do. All right, listen, you're not broken. There's nothing to fucking fix. I'm gonna tell you a story about a time where I thought I was broken, failed at something, how it was absolutely embarrassing, and all the reasons I thought that I was the one that wasn't good enough. First of all, my parents met in Vicksburg, Mississippi at a McDonald's. My dad was managing a McDonald's. My mom was 18. They met. Next thing you know, bam, I'm born to a teen mom. House gets broken up. There's a lot of things going on that shouldn't be going on. All of a sudden, the pedigree of where I come from is substantially less than my classmates. I'm gonna tell you about the first day of sixth grade. I get on the bus, I go into school, I'm on free lunch, which is embarrassing as shit if you've ever had that, had to do that. I've been told at this point that I have a learning disorder and that I'm not good at reading or writing or English. Fucking embarrassing. Without father figure in the house, with the learning disorder in my head, the Ritalin that they put me on, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt, I felt like I was broken. I felt like I was not good enough to make good grades, but I can tell you that that was all absolute fucking bullshit. I didn't know any better at the time. You're gonna see guys on Instagram that you think are doing better than you. The truth is a lot of those guys are fucking lying. There, there's absolutely no doubt about that. You need to understand that, yes, you have had things happen to you, but a lot of times you should use those things to your advantage so that you can do a good job despite the things that have happened to you. Much like being a star in your own movie. There's nothing wrong with you. Things happen, You sometimes you're in a bad situation, things like that, that's okay, but it certainly doesn't mean you're broken. What you need to do is pay attention to that gut, that little voice in your head that says, hey dude, you need to get the fuck up, let's go right now. You need to go to the gym, you need to study if you have a test. But you don't need to allow yourself to feel worthless if you can just pay attention to what you know in your heart is the right thing for you to do, and if you don't do that, then you pump the brakes, then you confront yourself, you'll do a lot better and it'll get rid of all that bullshit fucking noise from people that will never do as good as you. You've got this. That's one of the worst things you can do as a younger person is do what you were told because that means going to debt for a worthless degree, foul heart, money will fall on all this other idealistic poppy cop. Aaron, what would you say that prime is? You had to pick an age for <clears throat> man. Prime for men? I would say... 28 depends on how savvy you are but i'm gonna say for this audience i'm gonna say you should figure it out by 28 28 to 
theoretically death if you play your cards right. I mean, it's great. In that regard, it's great. If you're defining your prime in terms of how to get girls, well, yeah, that's going to be 30 to about 52. But in terms of having fun and enjoying life and what your capabilities and your production abilities and your innovation is, that is probably 28 to death. Like, if you want to retire, fine, go ahead. But if you want to keep on going, you have every right to until you're either too feeble to do so or you lose your fac mental faculties or stuff like that. But right. and so, yes, absolutely. You, you got to make the second half of your life count. Absolutely.